Welcome guys, this is Tech Knowledge Made Basic. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to pin a website to your start screen. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is open up Internet Explorer. So go ahead and do a left click over the Internet Explorer tile on your start screen. Right now I'm on msn.com and what we're going to go ahead and do is pin this website to our start screen. So the first thing, when you open up Internet Explorer, you're going to have a couple of options down here. You're going to have your address bar where you can type in your URL, URL to go ahead and navigate to an alternate website. You have a couple of other options also, but we're, the option that we're looking for first is this icon down here. It's that push pin, that thumbtack, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and do a left click over it. That's going to bring up two options. It's going to be it's going to give you the options to add to your favorites or to pin to the start. The one we want right now is to pin to the start. Let's go ahead and do a left click over pin to start. And it also even gives us the, the option to go ahead and name that specific uh, tile. For uh, for now, you, we're on MSN's website, so we'll just keep it uh, as MSN. So we'll go ahead and do a left click where it says pin to start. Let's go ahead and take our pointer again to the top right corner to activate our charms. Click on the start button, left click. And if we scroll over all the way to the right, we can see that we just went ahead and pinned that shortcut to that website to our start screen. Kind of similar to creating a shortcut on your desktop with uh, previous versions of Windows. So what we're going to go ahead and do is do it again. Do a left click on Internet Explorer. And this time down here, go ahead and type, let's just go to Microsoft, just Microsoft site. You can go to any website you want really. And what we have here is we're on Microsoft.com's website, so we'll go ahead and click on the push pin thumbtack again, left click, do a left click over again on pin to start. And this time, let's go ahead and just name it something else. I'll just put MS just to show you that you can rename it. Go ahead and click on pin to start. We'll do the same thing, activate our charms, do a left click on start, and we'll scroll over and see that our tile that we renamed MS is, is sitting right here. And from previous tutorials, you know that you can name this group. You can name it um, Website Shortcuts or whatever you want to do to kind of categorize that specific group. What we're going to go over now, we're going to go ahead and reopen Internet Explorer. And we're going to go over some of the options within this view of Internet Explorer. What, what these options are down here, you have your address bar where you can type in your URL to navigate to a different website. You have your back arrow where you can go to the previous website you were on. And over here, all the way to the right, you have your forward arrow where you can go to a website. Say you had gone back and now you want to go back to this website again, or of course, click uh, forward. And as you can see, when you hover over them, uh, you get the the name. You know, it says forward. Go over here, it says back. And you also have the refresh, which has been part of uh, all Internet Explorers. Now, what we want to do here is we'll go ahead and click on, do a left click on the push pin again. And we'll add this site to our favorites. We'll go ahead and click on Add to Favorites. And if you do a right click in any of the white space, don't do a right click over a link because if you do, it's just going to give you several uh, different options that we don't want that. Just do a right click in any of the white space that's not that's not a link. So if we do a right click, it's going to bring up uh, all the options. Now, in order to see the favorites in here, just go ahead and highlight this address down here. And as you can see, we we have the the websites that we pinned here on the left. Here is the websites that we frequently uh, go to, and here is the favorites. And by default, we already had I had Bing, I believe MSN was added, and now we went ahead and added uh, Microsoft's uh, website as a favorite. Go ahead and do a right click on the white space again. And what I want to show you up here is it's the the website that's currently opened is it's going to be. It's, it's going to show it up here in this in this black bar. So if I go ahead and click on this plus sign, do a left click, and it even shows you the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus T. Well, if I go ahead and do a left click, it's going to open up a new uh, tab for me to go ahead and navigate to another website. So right now we'll just go to let's go ahead and go to YouTube.com, and once we're there. Do a right click again in the white space and you can see up here in the black bar you have YouTube and we have Microsoft Opens. So we have two different websites. The icon down here on the bottom below the plus sign on the left on the right side of the screen, go ahead and do a left click over it where it says tab tools. And it, it's got two options. You can either close the tab, which I believe if I do a left click, it's gonna close the previous window I had open the previous site. So let's do that. Yep. So I went ahead and close the Microsoft site. 
But if I do, if the other option is for, in, it's an in private, it's, it's going to open up a browser, it's going to open up a new tab, but it's going to be private, which means that it's not going to track any, it's not going to keep any of the history, it's not going to track anything that you do. So that's the, the two options that it gives you there under tab tools. And again, the plus sign is to open up a new tab. Now the options down here on the bottom, like again, you ha we have the refresh. We already went over the uh, push pin thumbtack here. That gives us the option to go ahead and add to favorites or pin to the start. And we also have a, a wrench here on the right hand side. If we go ahead and click on that, do a left click, it gives us an option to find, say maybe a keyword on the page. Maybe you're trying to do some research. If we go ahead and click on that, it's going to allow us to go ahead and type a word that we want to find maybe within the page. That's you know something simple. We'll go ahead and close that out. Do a right click again in the white space. Do a left click over the wrench. The other option though that I wanted to tell you about is the view on the desktop. Because what we're in right now, we're actually in Internet Explorer. That's it. This is Internet Explorer 10. But we're in the view that's optimized for touch. So within this view that you open up within the start screen, it's a different Internet Explorer feel than what you've had before. And this one is, it works really well if you have a touch desktop, a touch laptop, or a tablet because you can quickly navigate through it really fast with the swipe of a finger. So, and you got other uh, things you can do with it. So this is the view that's optimized for touch and I would recommend using this view if you have a touch, a touch computer or a touch tablet. But if we do a left click where it says view on the desktop, let's go ahead and click there. What this is going to do is actually direct us to the desktop view of Windows 8. So we've always been, in the previous tutorials, have been within the start screen. So I wanted to show you what the start screen is uh, made up of. But we're now in the desktop view, what most, most, most of you guys would be familiar with from previous versions of Windows. Um, and what it's going to open up is the Internet Explorer that most people would be used to also. So let's go ahead and maximize it. As you can see here, you have the address bar where you can type in the URL. You have your back forward arrows here. You also have your your home button. You have your favorites. And if we do, if we open up our favorites, do a left click, you can see that the that the favorites do transfer over from the other view. And of course, we have our little uh, tools here, our, our sprocket, and it's, it gives us the options for Internet Explorer. And this is what most people are used to. So, like I said, if you have a touch device, I would recommend using the other view. Get the feel for it. It's it's really fast and quick. Uh, if you don't, you can switch over to this view. Uh, but I'll leave you there with that. So. Like I said, I'm going to talk more about this in, in future tutorials, so just uh, hang around. And I do thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time.